Hello, my name is Jacob, and today and for the next few weeks, I'll be helping you learn the percussion parts for the Chop Busters exercises. Today, we'll be working on exercises one and four. First exercise works on our paradiddles, which is a rudiment, which it consists of right, left, right, right, and left, right, left, left. Simply, we double the last two notes. In exercise number four, we'll be working on our accents, our rhythmic interpretations, and our buzz rolls. So why don't we start with exercise number one? We'll be playing at 100 beats per minute today, but if you need to take it slower when you start out, feel free, and then we can play it together at 100. One, two, three. One thing to keep in mind is that when you play this exercise with a full band, you are the percussion and you are what's driving everyone. So you can't slow down and you can't speed up too much. So make sure those 16th notes are perfectly timed. The only way to get that is to play it with a metronome. Feel free to rewind and play that again as many times as you need to. We're gonna move on to exercise number four. In this exercise, you'll find 16th notes, eighth notes, and triplets. The 16th note section, the first four bars, consists of some accent patterns, particularly one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, then one E and a, two E and a, three. Then it repeats. Then we move on to the triplets and those seven stroke rolls. Those seven stroke rolls will still have the same interpretation as the triplets, the same hand motion. However, we're gonna push down a little harder. We're gonna let the buzz happen rather than a, it'll be a. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at exercise number four. One, two, three. At the slower tempos, it will be a little more difficult to get those triplets sounding even on those rolls. As you work your way up faster, you'll find it easier to make that sound a little nicer, but if these slower tempos really work on getting that roll to sound nice. 